Hi, Charles of Bookstage here, and this is my A Very Merry Readathon wrap-up video. Now, A Very Merry Readathon was put together and hosted by Tiny Book Dragon. I believe this is her second year doing it. It ran from October 4th to October 8th, and there were three challenges. Read a book that takes place during the holidays, read a book with Christmas colors on the cover, and read a book just because you want to. And I will link Tiny Book Dragon's original announcement video down below as and my TBR video down below as well. And for the first challenge, read a book that takes place, place during the holidays, I read um, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes and the Adventures of the Blue Carbuncle, which is one of these original stories that takes place during Christmas. Um, it starts off like a day before and then picks up like two days later. And the mystery itself is very simple. Uh, it's far more about, I guess, really to me, the decision Sherlock Holmes makes at the end of what to do with the thief. It's really more the point of the story because the mystery itself is very easily solved. I'm going to do a little mini uh, review of it. Um, I've read Scandal and Bohemia in October and now Blue Carbuncle here. And I was looking at this. This is the complete collection that I've had this book. It was a present from my Uncle Barry for many, many, many decades. <laughs> And I looked up, this was printed, this was issued in 1976, and I'm pretty sure that's the year I, I received it as a gift from him. So I decided um, I'm going to do a Sherlock Holmes story every month going forward. It'll be just one of the things I read each month, since most of them are short stories, except for The Hound of the Baskervilles, which is at the end, it's a full novel. And there are 35 stories left, uh, since I've read two of them already, and then the novel, and that's 36, so... Starting in January, for the next three years, there'll be one video a month will be about whichever Sherlock Holmes story I read that month. So look for a little mini-review of this coming out uh, probably sometime before this month is over. But I quite enjoyed it because to me the point of it wasn't so much the mystery as just it being a story that takes place during Christmas. Um, so I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people don't necessarily like this one that much because the mystery is very simple, but... To me, that's not the point of the story, even though most of them might be. And the second challenge is read a book with Christmas colors on the cover. And my choice was the book I've been wanting to read the most for quite a while. And that was V. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic. Now, I had originally planned to finish reading this um, Friday night before midnight, before the readathon ended. I only had 80 pages to go. I did not get to finish it. Um, I ended up on the phone talking to my sister until like 3.30 in the morning. So I finished it this morning instead. And this book is, it not only met my expectations, it exceeded them. I'm going to be doing a review of this. Um, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed every moment of this. This is a real page turner and it just keeps you reading all the way through. This is the first time I've read anything by V.E. Schwab. And if this is an indication of her writing style, uh, I'm going to really enjoy her books. Um, super excited. I absolutely loved every moment of it. And look for a review of this coming up in the next, um, probably next week or this coming week. I have to look at my whole vlog my schedule. I know I've got it slotted in there somewhere. Um, but really great story. I've already got the second one there on the shelf, uh, but I'm going to hold off on reading that until just before the third one, which I, is out in, paper, in um, hardcover already. But I'm going to hold off reading the second one until the third one is about to be published in the trade paperback so I can complete my trade paperback collection, and which I believe that's coming out in March. So sometime at the either late February, beginning of March, I'm going to read that. So I'd rather read books two and three back to back rather than books one and two back to back and then wait for the finale. I cannot wait to dive into that. If this is as good as this book was, this is going to be quite the series. And in the third book that I read um, was a novella. So I had picked a short story, a novella, and a novel. And the novella was Every Heart a Doorway, the first book in Shauna McGuire's Wayward Children series. And this was another one that I heard people talking about a lot and got high praise. And the whole concept of doorways or gateways or whatever to other worlds, be they completely other different worlds or realms or parallel universes, which we seem to have here, parallel Londons, that alone is usually enough to get me to want to read the book. And the only other thing I knew about Every Heart of Doorway was that it was violent. 
So I, I expected the violence going into it. And I thoroughly enjoyed that too. That I thought was wonderful. Really, really well done. Um, I'm going to probably do a review of that as well because I enjoyed it that much. I think it's worth getting a little review for itself. Um, but I'm looking forward to reading the rest of that series. I believe it's going to be a trilogy. I know the second one is out, um, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, which I think is a prequel story of two of the characters in Every Heart of Doorway and about their experience in their world that they had gone to. So I'm really, really excited about reading that. And then I know a third one I think is set to be published soon. I don't know if it's January or February, but I know the third one's coming out. So I, I will absolutely be continuing with that series. And that's pretty much a wrap. Uh, it was a sh short readathon, only three challenges, which is nice. A nice uh, way to ease into the month of December. I've got two more readathons coming up, a the Holiday Adventure-a-thon and the Holly Jolly Read-Along. Those two overlap each other in their timelines. Um, though, so I, um, but I've got a nice set of books lined up for both of those. Right after this video, I'm going to be filming my um, Holiday Adventure-a-thon TBR. So you'll see me in the same shirt tomorrow when that video goes up. But... I want to thank Tiny Book Dragon. I love this readathon. I did not get to participate in the sprints, unfortunately. They, most of them happened while I was at work. And the ones that happened while I was home, I was on the phone with my sister. So I didn't get to partake in any of those either. But I had knocked the Sherlock Holmes and Every Heart of Doorway out on Monday, the very first day I read both of those. And then I've spent the subsequent days reading A Darker Shade of Magic. And, yeah, so... I loved all three things I read for this readathon. This is a really good, good read. Um, and I'm pretty much going to wrap it up here. And if you've done a very merry readathon, let me know in the comments. Um, you can drop your TBR videos or your wrap up video link down there as well if you've done them. Uh, I want to hear. I haven't had a chance to really go and look and see what a lot of other people who have been doing the readathon were, were reading. So that's uh, part of what I hope to do this weekend is catch up on what everyone else in the readathon was doing. I kind of didn't really get to interact with anybody during this readathon, so I usually try to. This particular one I wasn't able to because work was just really, really busy, and most of, I think, the interaction took place while I was at work, so I didn't get a chance. But I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, thanks once again. If you haven't read um, Every Hearted Doorway, uh, I highly recommend it. If you haven't read A Darker Shade of Magic, I really highly recommend it. Uh, this was like a rollicking, um, fun, fun read. And um, yeah, I'm already a fan of E.E. Schwab just from this one book. From the opening couple of sentences, um, I just slid right into her writing style very comfortably, and I like it a lot. And I look forward to the next uh, continuing adventures of these characters. And... I'm going to call it a night here. Uh, this is Charles of Sir Book Sage. Happy reading. <laughs>